story to tell. The British Armor Force is said to be the oldest and slowest to upgrade in NATO. The combat capability of this force is in doubt. How incompetent, according to Forbes, are the officials responsible for Britain's major military equipment projects? Although the British armor forces have spent billions of dollars since 1997, no new main battle tanks have been delivered to the army. A quarter of a century of hard work was futile, and the British Army's armor force was decreasing in number and becoming obsolete. The British government also wanted to further reduce the size of the tank and armor force, which was already in short supply. Since the early 1990s, when the Soviet Union disintegrated, the British Army was no longer pressured by threats from the Soviet Union and the Warsaw Pact, so they lost their challenging threat. Since then, the British Army's plans to develop and equip new tanks and armor vehicles have been overlooked. The Chancellor II tank is the heaviest and most powerful combat vehicle in the British Army. Since the end of the Cold War, after several number cuts, only 227 of these Chancellor II tanks are still in service. Challenger II main battle tank, weighing up to 70 tons, equipped with a 120mm main gun. During its 23 years of service, the British military never performed a major upgrade to the Challenger II. In contrast, the US military developed and deployed several extremely powerful new versions of the M1 tank. The British Army introduced various upgrade concepts over the years, including improvements to new sensors, electronics, and fire control systems. However, these upgrades have not been implemented. The most ambitious upgrade plan was supposed to be implemented to replace a completely new turret but was not implemented in the end. The Challenger 2 numbers were eventually dropped to 150, according to analysts, and upgrading remains a big question. The Royal Army also has 759 warrior infantry fighting vehicles. This tracked armor vehicle weighs 28 tons, is equipped with a 30mm main gun, but it is not equipped with on-the-go firing capability. Like the Chancellor II tank, the warrior has not received any upgrades during its 37 years of service. Twelve years ago, the British Army planned a comprehensive upgrade with a new turret using an all-new 40mm cannon. This project cost $500 million, but did not get one upgraded. There were allegations that it was too wasteful to develop a new gun for the warrior, 
as this vehicle could no longer meet the demands of modern warfare. Unable to bear criticism, the warrior of great was over. The average life expectancy of track armor vehicles in the Royal Army is 50 years. Thus, the number of warrior armor vehicles reached the end of their life, and most likely the Royal Army would have no infantry fighting vehicles. Currently, a new version of the infantry fighting vehicle has begun to be ordered for the Royal Army, the Asia's armor fighting vehicle. This is also the basis for the development of versions such as scouting, engineers, commanders, and other vehicles. The British Army ordered a total of 500 Asia's vehicles in all versions. As planned, the Asia's will be in service from 2019, but now it is 2021 and the British Army is still waiting, as the 40mm cannon for Asia's is still incomplete. Currently, the British military has no plans to replace 500 FV-432 track armor personnel carriers from the 1960s. But it is speculated that the new Boxer World armor vehicles will replace these vehicles. However, the Boxer World vehicle program has also been delayed for up to 10 years. The first batch of Boxer vehicles scheduled to enter service in 2023. But two years ago, the British Department of Defense cancelled this contract. This 40 ton squared armor vehicle was a highlight of the Royal Army. If it hadn't been for delays and bureaucracy, Boxer would have been in service 10 years ago. But according to the Defense Committee of the British House of Representatives, assuming the Boxer is put into use, it will not be able to fill the British armor force. British tanks were too old and few. Infantry fighting vehicles were obsolete. These armor personnel carriers are aging, and there is currently no clear replacement plan. The end result of this chaos is not difficult to predict. If the war broke out in the near future, the British tank and armor force would hardly be able to cope with enemies' powerful armor force. My video about the British armor force ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.